Yeah. So, all right. Well, we have, we've waited long enough. Let me get to the thing. So if there's any uh, hiccups or anything, we're going to play as long as we can. But if hiccups happen, well, they happen. All right, there we go. Resident Evil 2. Uh, this was actually the very first survival horror game I ever played. Um, I played this on the N64, the ported version they went over, and I, uh, I liked it a whole lot. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun, and it got me into, I think that's part of the reason why I have such a love affair with the old style tank controls, the stupid puzzles, and I spent a good part of my Resident Evil 4 stream knocking on how dumb a lot of the puzzles were. And the thing everyone said, uh, the thing everyone kept telling me was, it's not as stupid as the, uh, you know, it's, it's not as stupid as what's in Resident Evil 2 with all the, you know, oh, hey, to get to the, uh, to unlock the thing to get the moon crest to open up this thing you need to push a statue into a slot like they're showing this helpful gameplay thing here mm. but here's the thing though I think 90% of my issue is I'm just way too forgiving of it so that might be it I don't know but hey no no gotta skip this oh I didn't want to load the game shit <laughs> oh man Alright, do not load. Go back. Alright, original game, set it to normal. And you're not going to hear me from me for a bit because I'm going to let the bad cutscenes and all that take hold. Resident Evil 2. A bizarre incident occurred outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation of the affair. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Okay, here's some of the RAM issues I was talking about. Sorry. got here What are these things? 
All right, that's far enough. Don't move! Don't move. No! What's up with that guy? That was a green head. Can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. you there. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's my, not my GPU that's fucking up. It's this RAM, because you notice it goes away when you go into gameplay. So I think every time there's going to be a letterbox cutscene, you're going to see that static up on the bottom and up on the bottom. I don't know what what's... Oh, shit, I need to cook in the game. All right. Just going to run and avoid these guys. Oh, no, get off me. No. And just going right in here. Oh, nope, that's not the button. That's the button. Okay. Freeze. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire. I'm a human. Oh, sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Okay. I don't know why, when I was a kid, I loved this guy. The fact it was just a dude who survived this long by himself. The case is broken, there is nothing useful in here. Well, I believe there's some stuff here. Tony's arms. For, now, for the longest time, I thought that guy was Tony. But, it's not. His real name is... Yeah, I'll take the H-gun bullets. Now, the question is, while this guy's getting horribly fucked up, should I take a shotgun, or should I run for it? Uh... You know what? Fuck it. I'll get the shotgun later. Uh, 
Oh, man. His name was Robert Kendo. God, I love... This is one of the things I miss the most about those old games, is... It's just that, those angles. guy could just run to avoid and there's no reload button all right and combine there we go god this is like what I'm really looking forward to the most I'm looking forward to seeing all this shit with all those different angles in high def graphics. Cause I mean, Capcom's g Capcom's gonna be doing it, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh uh, no! Get off me! Nope! Get off me! God damn it! I ripped that guy's arm off accidentally. Uh, ah, no, no, god damn it. I thought I could just run through them, but nope. How am I doing? Uh, just caution, I'm good. Yeah, this is when Leon's kind of just a guy. Then Resident Evil, uh... I think that's my favorite little cut, where you just see this guy in the foreground just with a bunch of fucking knives in his back. And then you come across this shit. Yeah, no, some of them are still up, but I just had to knock them down. Oh, man. Oh, shit, there's some ammo. Oh, uh, no. Stomp. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. I, you know, the all this stuff's rushing back to me. Ah, uh, no, I ran right into that guy. Ah, uh, no, god damn it! No. Well, I'm gonna need to find some herbs fast, because I just fucked myself up. Oh, I always love that bit. I love how we take the stairs, no problem. But down here, I'm like, eh, no, no. If I go up the stairs like a boss. Just avoiding those guys, because I'm really too fucked up to try fighting them. We just gotta keep the old fountain. You obtain the key to open your heart. You wait for the unicorn, the, the, this beautiful beast. I do suck at avoiding zombies. Listen, I've never 